Here at She Builds Brands, we are known for working with clients in the fashion, luxury and lifestyle sector. We work with clients like Rolls Royce, Aston Martin, Nike, L'Oreal. But today's brand that I want to talk about is a case study that is just a little bit different. We have the honour of working with construction firm, the Gallagher Group. Now, the Gallagher Group started 45 years ago by Pat Gallagher. They are a family-run business that deal in property, civil engineering, as well as buildings. They're really well renowned for working on some fantastic projects like Next Home, John Lewis. They've worked with ASDA as well as building the Gallagher Football Stadium in Kent. Now, when we got the call to be able to work with the Gallagher Group, it was an honour. And what I did is I thought to myself, how are we going to approach this? The brief was that the brand had been going for 45 years and now they wanted to revisit the brand so that they were building a legacy brand. They were thinking about how does the brand move past and beyond where it is at the moment. Now, Pat Gallagher has four children, uh, two boys, two girls, that all work in the business in one capacity or another. And so my job was to work with the four children that were all in their 40s and in their 50s to look at how do we move this brand forward into the future? How do we say this is now a legacy brand? And it was a real honor to work with all four of them. So what did I do? The first thing I did with my team is research. And this is a starting point that we do with every organization that we work with. We research not only their company, their brand, we do an audit around their social media, we look at their website, but we also look at their competitors, we look at where their industry is going, and a little trick, we look outside of their industry. Now looking outside of their industry is so important. Why? Because that's where we get fresh ideas. And so there were two particular organizations that I drew upon that supported how we approached the Gallagher Group. The first one was a brand that I'd worked with previously, it was based out of Southeast Asia, called Brahim's. Now Brahim's is a food distribution and food production organization. It is one of the biggest food distributing companies in Malaysia. It has 82% of the market. Uh, Brahim's is also a family run business, just like the Gallagher Group. It started with the father and the daughter was now taking over. And so what I looked at with Brahim's is how we brought their staff on board of the journey of being able to take this brand into the future. And so I remembered working with Brahims and having staff that were across ethnic cultures and knowing that we needed to be able to bring all ages and all ethnicities together. Then I looked at Burberry. Now Burberry is a brand that's been going for over a hundred years. Burberry has had its highs and lows when it comes to sustaining their brand dominance. And so I looked at what Burberry had done. And one of the things that Burberry had done is they developed a brand cultural book. They developed a book that really looked at the mission, the vision, the values of the brand from the beginning when Thomas Burberry started it and looked at what was the story. And with Burberry, what they cleverly done is they ended up producing a movie about how Thomas Burberry started Burberry to really create clothing, material, a coat that would protect the soldiers in the war. And they took that story and they developed that story to remind modern day customers of the strength of the brand and why you buy into the Burberry trench coat. And so I really took both Brahim's and Burberry and said, okay, we're gonna do some similar aspects with the Gallagher Group. So, how did we start this process? Well, once all the research and the auditing was done, I then did a series of brand strategy sessions. I started with the four siblings in the business to get an idea of their vision. I sat down with Pat Gallagher to really draw from him the story of the Gallagher group. And Pat was amazing. I mean, he had so many beautiful stories about coming from Ireland and coming to, you know, the, the England and really just building this brand back in a time where they were at the signs in the UK would say, no blacks, no dogs, no Irish, right? So he really understood the grit and had that grit to 
build this Gallagher Group brand. I also then sat down with the team. And whenever I sit down with the team, I never just wanna sit down with the senior management team. I always ask my clients to pull in team members from different departments across multiple levels. The reason why we do this is because not only do we want the buy-in, but we also want the different perspectives. If we've got somebody in finance and admin, as well as somebody who is a civil engineer or somebody who works on the construction side from young to old, all in a meeting together, then you're getting the different perspectives from the business on how the brand could be elevated and most importantly, how the brand can come alive in their area of the business. So I did a fantastic and really enjoyable session with the teams. And then once we'd done that, we then started to carve out some of the messaging. And a little bit like Burberry, what I wanted to do with the Gallagher Group is I didn't want to create a new book. I wanted to create a new chapter in an existing book. And so as a team, as a collective, we started to look at what are the brand assets need to look like moving forward. And one of the key brand assets that we pulled together was their brand video. Now their brand video comprised of us going into a studio, doing some media training with the four siblings so that we could really introduce them as being a core part of the brand's future. It also included me sitting down and interviewing Pat Gallagher and then pulling together really the story that made up the Gallagher Group. It was absolutely a fantastic project, one that went on for over six months. And you know what? I can't wait to see where the Gallagher Group's gonna be in the future because it truly is a legacy brand. What do you think back then was making it possible? Was it sheer hard work or was there something else? Sheer hard work and, you know, I was lucky. I could find great people, you know. I mean, I was a hard worker man, but I was good for nothing at most things I was trying to do because I was always in a hurry. And, but I was lucky that I found some of the finest people ever put their shoes on feet. I bought my first digger from Pat Burke back in, back in about, I think it was about November, December of 1970, and then in the January of 71, and I thought I'd be a digger driver, and oh, you know, that'd be a lovely way to make a living. And a couple of months into it, when I kept getting run off, run out everywhere that I was on hire, and saying, could you send a different driver tomorrow, I copped on that I was no digger driver. And um, so I started to employ a digger driver, and we moved on from there, and the same with lorries. You bought a lorry, you couldn't drive it because you had no license, not that that stopped me, but um, you, uh, you had to get a, a lorry driver and you had to get another lorry driver. I was all determined, to be honest, and they all believed in what Dad believed in and they was all striving for the same objective. He went and bought a load of lorries from up London and a load of us went up to pick them up. Half of them didn't run, so the good ones had to tow the bad ones back and it was just madness, but brilliant. And then for the next month or so, they were building a lorry out of parts of the other lorries. They were great, honest people. Honesty and integrity and loyalty and above all, good at their job. Yeah, that one digger was the start of it, which is almost, well, in a couple of years, it'll be 50 years since I bought that digger. When mum met dad, she was a nurse in the local hospital and I believe her wages actually went to pay all the men's wages every Friday because dad was, um, it was really tough at the time. She was the quiet, steely, determined force behind dad, backing him up and fighting his corner when he needed it, you know. She was the one that gave dad the confidence to go out and deliver and achieve what he, he done, to be honest with you. And then eventually as the business got bigger, mum left nursing went to work in the business full time and she ran the accounts department. Her determination flows for all of us. We've been so lucky to get the opportunities we've had and we haven't wasted any of them. And all I hope is the opportunities keep coming to us and we value and appreciate every one of them. And we treat them with the respect they should be and the people around them and the people who give us business, our clients, all of that. It's a mighty, mighty industry. It's still a great people's industry.